2014, the topics from which UPSC framed the questions were nuclear supplies group, rule of law index, countries with war or ethnic conflict, two state solution, the geographical indication of goods, registration and protection act, international labor organization convention 138 and 182, additional protocol with the international atomic energy agency free trade partners of ASEAN global alliance for climate smart agriculture international towns in news momentum for change climate neutral now countries mentioned in news these all were the topics once again countries mentioned in news momentum for change climate neutral now international towns in news Global Alliance for Climate Agriculture, Climate Smart Agriculture, Free Trade Partners of ASEAN, Additional Protocol with International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, International Labor Organization Convention 138 and 182, The Geographical Indication of Goods Registration and Protection Act, Two-State Solution, Countries with War or Ethnic Conflict, Rule of Law Index and Nuclear Supplies Group. Let's come to the first question. What is uh, the consequence or consequence of a country becoming the member of the nuclear supplies group? It will have access to the latest and most efficient nuclear technologies. It automatically becomes a member of the treaty on the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons NPT. Now, which of the statement given above is the correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. Now, if you look to the statements, it will have access to the latest and most efficient nuclear technologies. That is absolutely right. And it automatically becomes a member of the treaty on the non-proliferation of nuclear weapon NPT. That is absolutely wrong. The first statement is right and the second statement is wrong. So we know as according to the option, it is one only. Let's come to the next one. It's rule of law index. Rule of law index is released by which of the following? A direct question, Amnesty International, International Court of Justice, the word of UN Commissioner for Human Rights, World Justice Report. So rule of law index is released by which of the following a direct question. Those who read newspaper, they come across with rule of law index and the answer is World Justice Report. Next question. Very recently, in which of the following countries have lakhs of people either suffered from severe famine or acute malnutrition? died due to starvation caused by war or ethnic conflict angola and zambia morocco and tunisia venezuela and colombia yemen and south sudan so we have to check which all countries face these two trouble that is one side famine and acute malnutrition and died due to starvation another one died due to war and ethnic conflict so when you look into this particular aspect and check Angola and Zambia, Morocco and Tunisia, Venezuela and Colombia, Yemen and South Sudan, the most appropriate answer as such as, or the absolute right answer in that sense is Yemen and South Sudan, right from 2018 background. Why? Because UN declared more than 20 million people are at risk of famine in Nigeria, Somalia, South Sudan and Yemen. Let's come to the next question, the term two-state solution is sometimes mentioned in the news in the context of the affairs of the ECS question asked by UPSC. We all know the two term, the term two state solution as it is directly related with Israel. So it's a very simple question. Let's come to the next one. India enacted the geographical indication of goods registration and protection act 1999 in order to comply with the obligation to in order to comply with obligation to ILO, IMF, UNCTAD, UNCTAD, or WTO. It is in order to comply with the obligation to WTO. This question is related to International Labor Organization Convention 138 and 182 are related to child labor, adaptation of agriculture practices to global climate change, regulation of food prices and good security, gender parity at the workplace. This particular International Labor Organization Convention 138 and 182 as such were there in the news during that particular time. It is directly related with child labor. Next question. In the Indian context, what is the implication of ratifying the additional protocol with the International Atomic Energy Agency? 
the civilian nuclear reactor come under iaea safeguard the military nuclear installations come under the inspection of iaea the country will have the privilege to buy uranium from the nuclear suppliers group the country automatically becomes a member of the us a direct question but not that easy in the indian context what is the implication of ratifying the additional protocol with the international atomic energy agency if you watch or if you read the statement once again you can clearly tell the civilian nuclear reactors come under iaea safeguard that is the right answer now the next question consider the following countries which of the above are among the free trade partners of asean not that is see australia canada china india japan and usa so here upsc is telling 1 2 4 and 5 3 4 5 and 6 1 3 4 and 5 2 3 4 and 6 so upsc is telling uh, australia canada china india japan and usa is it 1 2 4 and 5 or is it 3 4 5 and 6 or is it 1 3 4 and 5 or 2 3 4 and 6 that is a b c d now if you look into this options with your understanding of newspaper reading consider the following country which of the among other free trade part partners of asean australia is a free trade partner of Aust free trade partner of asean canada is not 2018 background china is yes india is s japan yes and united states of america is not So it is one, three, four, and five. So the answer is C. So Australia, China, India, and Japan. So it is one, three, four, and five. You have to read this paper with clarity. Next question is, with reference to the Global Alliance for Climate Smart Agriculture (GACSA), which of the following statement is correct? GACSA is an outcome of the climate summit held in Paris in 2015. membership of gscsa does not create any binding obligations india was instrumental in the creation of gscsa now out of these three statement select the correct answer using the code given below 1 and 3 only 2 only 2 and 3 only 1 2 and 3 with reference to the global alliance for climate smart Ag agriculture which of the following statement is a correct gscsa is an outcome of the climate summit held in paris in 2015 is wrong membership of gscsa does not create any binding obligations is absolutely right india was instrumental in the creation of gscsa is absolutely wrong only the second statement as it is right the global alliance for climate smart agriculture was launched on 23rd september 2014 so the first statement is wrong second statement is right and third statement is wrong so the answer as it is two only next question is a very interesting question Consider the following pairs: town sometimes mentioned in news and country, Aleppo, Syria, Kirkuk, Yemen, Mosul, Palestine, Masari Sharif, Afghanistan. Which of the pairs given above correctly matched? One and two, one and four, two and three, three and four. So UPSC is checking whether you are reading newspaper with clear understanding. And when you look Aleppo, Syria, we all know Aleppo as such as Aleppo as such as in Syria. It's right. Kirkuk. is not in yemen kirkuk as such is in iraq so that is wrong mosul is not in palestine there is no location called mosul in palestine mosul is in iraq and masari sharif is very common masari sharif is in afghanistan so if you look into this aleppo syria is right kirkuk mosul yemen palestine respectively is absolutely wrong masari sharif in afghanistan as such is right so if you look 1 and 2 1 and 4 2 and 3 3 and 4 it is One and four is right. Let's come to the next question. Momentum for change, climate neutral now, is an initiative launched by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, UNEP Secretariat, UNFCCCC Secretariat, the World Meteorological Organization. A very direct question, a very simple question. Momentum for change, climate neutral now, is an initiative launched by UNFCCC. Now let's come to an another interesting question. Let's come to the last question of 2018. Consider the following pairs: regions sometimes mentioned in news, Catalonia, Crimea, Mindanao, or Romania. Country: Spain, Hungary, 
Philippines and Nigeria. Which of the pairs given above are correctly matched? 1, 2 and 3, 3 and 4, 1 and 3, 2 and 4. When you look back to the same, Catalonia, we know it is in Spain. Crimea, it is not in Hungary. Mindanao, it is in Philippines. Oromia, it is not in Nigeria. So when you look back, Catalonia, that is in Spain, that is right. Crimea, that is not in Hungary, it is in Ukraine. Mindanao, that is in Philippines, that is right. And Oromia, that is not in Nigeria, that is in Ethiopia. Oromia was in news due to ethnic violence and general anarchy in that particular location. So the first statement and the third one, or the first one and the third one, Catalonia and Mindanao, as it is right. So right from the option, we can tell one and three is right. And the option as it is C, one and three. So we completed 2018. Let's start with 2019 questions. In 2019, UPSC framed questions from General Data Protection Regulation, Action Plan for Prioritization and Implementation of Cooperation Area in the Nuclear Field, the United Nations Convention Against Corruption, United Nations Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime, and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. Sub-index of the World Bank's Ease of Doing Business Index, the Global Competitiveness Report, Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. I repeat, Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, Global Competitiveness Report, Sub-index of the World Bank, Ease of Doing Business Index, United Nations Convention Against Corruption, UNCSC, United Nations Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime, UNTRC, and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC. Action Plan for Prioritization and Implementation of Cooperation Area in the Nuclear Field and General Data Protection. The first question, which of the following adopted a law on data protection and privacy for the citizens known as General Data Protection Regulation in April 2016 and started implementation of it from 25th May 2018. Comparatively, a very easy question. Australia, Canada, European Union, United States of America, we know general data protection regulation as it is directly related with European Union. Let's come to the next question. Recently, India signed a deal known as Action Plan for Prioritization and Implementation of Cooperation Area in the Nuclear Field with which of the following countries? Japan, Russia, United Kingdom, United States of America. Now, right from the option, the answer as it is B, that is Russia. The next question comes to the following statement. The United Nations Convention Against Corruption, UNCAC, has a protocol against the smuggling of migrants by land, sea, and air. The UNCAC is the ever first legally binding global anti corruption instrument. A highlight of the United Nations Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime, UNTRC, is the inclusion of a specific chapter aimed at returning assets to their rightful owner from whom they had been taken illicitly. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, is mandated by its member state to assist in the implementation of both UNCAC and UNTRC. Which of the statement given above correct? One and three only, two, three and four, two and four, one, two, three and four. The United Nations Convention Against Corruption, UNCSC, has a protocol against the smuggling of migrants by land, sea and air is wrong. That is UNTRC. The second statement, UNCSC is the first ever legally binding a global anti-corruption instrument. That is right. A highlight of the United Nations Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime is the inclusion of a specific chapter aimed at returning assets to their rightful honor from whom they had been taken illicitly. That's a wrong statement that is related with UNCSC. United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, is mandated by its member state to assist in the implementation of both UNCSC and UNTRC is right. So when you look into the statements, you can see the second statement and the fourth statement as it is right first statement and the third statement as it is wrong. So that is second and four are the right statement. So two and four. So right from the option, we can tell two and four is right. Answer is C. 
let's come to the next question which one of the following is not a sub index of the world bank ease of doing business index ease of doing business index we know it is having 10 sub index maintenance of law and order paying taxes registering property dealing with construction permits if you look into the ease of doing business index sub indexes you can see starting a business dealing with construction permits getting electricity registering property getting credit protecting minority investors paying taxes trading across borders enforcing contracts and resolving insolvency so these are the 10 sub index related to ease of doing business so right from the option maintenance of law and order is not related with ease of doing business index sub index paying taxes is right registering property is right dealing with construction permits as such is right so the answer as such is maintenance of law and order let's come to the next question the fifth one the global competitiveness report is published by is a very easy question very direct question we all know global competitiveness report is published by world economic forum it is not by international monetary fund it's not by united nation conference on trade and development it's not by world bank it is by world economic forum let's come to the final question the sixth question with reference to Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, AIIB, consider the following statement. In AIIB has more than 80 member nations. India is the largest shareholder in AIIB. AIIB does not have any members from outside Asia. Which of the statement given above is correct? One only, two and three only, one and three, one, two and three. When you look back to the statement, AIIB has more than 80 member nation is absolutely right because AIIB has around 97 members. So the first statement is right. India is the largest shareholder in AIIB is wrong because China is the largest shareholder. AIIB does not have any member from outside Asia that is also wrong. There is members from outside Asia. So the second statement and the third statement is wrong and the first statement is only right AIIB has more than 80 member nation that is right so from the option we can tell a on one only a is the right statement or option a is right so we discussed 2017 2018 and 2019 related to 2020 we had a deep analysis watch the video and enjoy what is actually international issues in connection with 2020 we had a detailed analysis by relating with newspapers and magazines article related to the question so we started this discussion asking few questions what is to be studied in international issues what is the nature and character of international issues questions what manner upsc is framing questions from international i hope now the answer is there in your mind you have to read and understand international issues as according to the standard as according to standard of 2017 18 and 19 and you should have a thorough look over 2020 when you frame the standard of upsc international related questions calm version is the most productive version relaxedly listen to the nature and character of 2017 18 and 19 questions at the same time give special emphasis to 2020 analysis which is already there in the series and get an ultimate edge in your overall preparation have a great time happy learning happy reading thank you